going to try something new this weekend. We'll do a reading vlog. I have a little trip over to Vancouver and I might as well bring a book because I'm going to be on a ferry and then I'm going to be on a bus and then go to an event and then I'll be on a bus and then I'll be on a ferry again. Um, so let's see if this reading vlog will work. Um, I don't know what I'm reading yet. I have a jar full of books and these are all kind of little pictures of books so let's see if i could just pick it out and see what the book will be for this weekend reading vlog so i would like to begin by acknowledging the nuchalit people traditional custodian of the land on which we are filming today and pay respects to their elders past and present Okay, so we're going to read <laughs> Onward. Okay. Si je peux le trouver. Okay. Um Howard Schultz how Starbucks fought for its life without losing its soul. Okay. So, um, yeah, not really what I expected, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so just in case I start reading it and I'm like, mm -mm, no, no, let's choose another one. Star Girl. I have it right here. So this is um, Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. Now, oh. it's a nice thin one and a big one. Okay. Good morning! So last night I started Onwards, the Starbucks story. I got through chapter one. Um, it's basically around, it starts in around 2008 where Starbucks was starting to tank and the um, starting of the company, the CEO, he had stepped down as chairman and now he's coming back to revamp everything. So um, I mean, I'm sure it'll be very interesting. Not really what I was planning on reading right now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to switch to the other book, um, also because it's smaller and it's more portable for travel. Um, so if you remember, the other book was Stargirl. And like I said, it's nice and thin. And I found out that on Disney Plus, there's a movie. So I can read the book, watch the movie, do a little comparison, be a good conclusion to the vlog. Okay, now we're just getting ready to go to the ferry. So we'll see you then. Bye. I'm driving down the empty feet.
Well, it's uh, the weekend has passed and I didn't finish the book. It was a little bit busier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I'm just going to pop here and do a quick little update on the book. I'm on page... Oh, I'm on page 48, so almost 50 pages in. Um, so far, the story is really cute. Um, it's about this little high school in this little town in Arizona. And all of a sudden, that day, or one day at the beginning of the school, a new girl comes in and she's very flamboyant, different clothes. She really sticks out. She plays the ukulele. Um, so everyone in this high school is a bit like, what's going on? Kind of thing. So, um, it's really cute and light. And, you know, this girl is kind of like waking up this high school that's been kind of always in the same, uh, pattern. So it's a really quick read. Um, I'm wondering what's going to happen because there's kind of this like feeling of like, um, something's going to happen. Something's not quite right. So we'll see. Hopefully I can finish it, you know, in the next couple days. Um, and we'll go from there. <laughs> okay. Now I have to go to work. Bye bye. Hi. Um, I thought I'd put in a little update on how my reading is going. It's late at night, so I have to be quiet, but I just finished Stargirl. Um, so many thoughts. <laughs> the last sentence, read the last sentence, I started bawling my eyes out. Um, it's 186 pages and it gives you all the feels. Um, yeah, I'm going to sleep on it and hopefully I have a more coherent review for you tomorrow or in the next couple days. We'll see. But um, yeah, I really liked it. It was good. So <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, so this will be the conclusion of my reading vlog. It's almost like a week later, but who cares? <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap up our little trip to Vancouver that we did and also to talk about the book. And I also watched the movie. So my little trip to Vancouver was bringing my youngest one to see some of the Shenyun dancers. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but I brought back a little bit of swag and there's some, you know, little postcards. So these are all kind of like the dances that they had. It was very beautiful. The costumes were great. And it kind of ties into my little bookish things because they also had bookmarks. So there's a nice little metal bookmark and they were also giving away some like free little paper bookmarks. So it's kind of a nice uh, tie in to my book vlog. So now let's get on to my final thoughts for the book. So the book was Stargirl from Jerry Spinelli. Like I said, like the, the last line made me cry. Like it really got me in the feels. It's kind of a book of non-conformity you know, kind of blaze your own path, do something that makes you happy, and how a little bit of happiness can kind of spread out. But, uh, and also it's like change, how people can accept change and something that is weird and non-regular. So that was quite interesting to kind of like read. And there was one quote in the book that I kind of loved. And all it says is, whose affection do you value more, hers or the others? So this is about our main character, Leo, and how he's now, you know, Stargirl has now become his girlfriend, kind of friend, and he likes her, but everyone else around kind of doesn't like her or kind of, but he, so he doesn't know who to kind of like side with. And that is just when a Archie, love Archie as a character, kind of poses this question to him. Like, whose affection are you really more, 
who's do you care more for hers or the public's or his peers that kind of thing so it's kind of a good quote to kind of think and ponder on right as for the movie uh the movie was really good some of the original songs and uh they definitely pegged star girl the the mom is a costumer for the theater so of course all her all of her clothes are flamboyant and so and it you know there's a there was one scene where it was a little bit of like secondhand embarrassment because you're like, you know, it was going to happen after that. And you're like, oh, I just can't watch. And but they stayed pretty close to the book. You know, they changed a little few things because uh, a book to movie, it always does. And then the mom in it had a really good quote as well, too. And so if I can, I'll try and insert the scene. Uh, we'll see how that works. And But if I don't, the quote was because Leo is kind of lost. He doesn't know what to do about this whole, there's a something that happens um, and he doesn't quite know how to deal with it, right? there. It's a coming of age story. And he asks his mom, like, did you go through kind of this? And she says, kind of, yes, I did. And I found answers, but they're my answers. I wish I could give you answers but they won't be the right ones, right? So that kind of says, you kind of have to fi figure it out yourself because what worked for one person or, or one person's answers won't fit for you. So I kind of like that quote as well too. So all in all, I would watch the movie and I would read the book. I Like I said before, it's a really short book. So it just, you know, you, I'm sure you could probably read it in one day. It's kind of like a middle grade going through the Goodreads comments it seems to be kind of an assigned reading during high school which i was quite surprised but it's probably more of an american thing because i've never heard of this book before but all in all i sure hope you like this reading vlog let me know it's the first time i've kind of done this kind of like traveling reading vlog and we'll see you in the next one bye